Hi. Hi. <laughs> Don't get my face. <laughs> Good morning. It is Monday, May 15. And it's 4 30 right now. I just woke up. My face is super swollen. But I'm gonna shower with the soap that they gave me to shower in. so much from your arms you can't light go there so you're gonna have to use your strength to draw from here yeah and then you gotta get yourself up there. I can, I mean, sorry. So I made it out of surgery. It's 10, 10 o'clock right now. And it hurt so bad waking up. Like really, really bad. I had to take deep breaths so that way it can hurt less. I, I was having anxiety when I woke up and I was getting out of breath and shaking. But right now my pain level is like at a eight. When I woke up it was more at a 10.
What leg you want to do first? Happy. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> My hips. My hips look good. Yeah. And it's still gonna the swelling. My the swelling is gonna go down here, so my hips are gonna look even more bare. It's so happy. It's perfect. <laughs> His hips on painkiller, so it's not bad right now, but I know once he wears off, I'm gonna feel worse. You good? Yeah. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Interrupting your video? <laughs> no. Huh? No. You don't need no more nothing? No. You good? No, they've been good, yeah. And then I'll fold it in. Or maybe not, maybe it can be stuck to my... To yeah, my, no? Yeah. But you want it like this or long way? So I called me aesthetics and I don't have any drainages. Um, so basically my body's just leaking naturally. So right now we're adding more padding because I'm leaking. She said not to remove any of the old padding. Just keep adding more padding. Um, my post-op appointment is tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. So that's when they're going to clean up. <laughs> but right now it's just adding layers. And I'm going to add a diaper right now to get any more blood out. I'm gonna add a diaper right now to absorb any more blood. But the paddings are pretty pretty good. But I'm gonna go ahead and put a diaper on so that way I don't leak everywhere because I feel it coming down on my legs. And honestly, I'm so fucking happy that I don't have any drainages because for drainages, you have to drain every four hours. So I had made this soup yesterday. It has carrots, potatoes, celery zucchini and some chicken i don't feel like eating the chicken right now so i'm just gonna eat the vegetables they're really soft i didn't put any salt or anything there's no sodium i added a little bit of pepper 
so it's gonna have a lot of flavor my mom put some lemon in it's okay because this is actually like the lifestyle that we're gonna have to change so Oof. because i want to lose more weight so yeah i want to continue my diet and get used to it i feel like once you start your this diet you'll get used to it so i want to still continue with this diet and have low sodium low sugar so that way i can lose more weight but i'm just gonna eat a little bit and then i'm gonna lay back down i already i've been on my my knees and my legs for a good amount of time i have to drink my water because i have to pee again I'm trying to walk for about like five minutes, five yeah. times, five, six times a day. Yeah. Five to ten minutes it should be a minimum of 30 minutes per, per day. Well, today, 30 minutes minimum walking. So I couldn't walk a little bit. I don't feel bad right now. When I, before I took the Arnica, I was feeling like. I was feeling a little bit of pain where my incisions are because they have two right here and I was feeling that. Mm -hmm. I feel like just like tattooing, when I tattoo, different parts of the body you feel it more than others, but I feel like that's how it is right now. Like different parts of my body hurts more than others. Right now, it's just sore. My arms are hurting more, I feel, because I'm using them more. Mm -hmm. So my arms are definitely hurting right now. Every surgery place does things differently. And I feel like other surgery places prescribe you more medication for pain. And mine didn't. So I feel like if I could do this without all the pain that all the medication that other people take, I can do it again. Well, hopefully I don't have to do it again. <laughs> but it's not something that, I mean, it's the first day, right? But right. something I, I would say I'm never going to do again. It's almost 6 o'clock, so it's almost time to take my pain medication. But yeah, pretty much I'm just going to keep walking around and just waiting. So yeah, um, they're gonna drain, they're gonna drain my body. They're gonna drain from all the little incisions. Getting the surgery is not just the surgery, but it's also the aftercare. So it's so easy for you to, you know, it's so easy for you to get your your body done, but it's not easy to keep up with the aftercare. Because every massage I believe is like eighty dollars. And not only is it the massages you need to buy, but also your aftercare supplies. So tomorrow when I go, right now I only have bandages on my head and my arms. But tomorrow when I go back to my post op, um, I'm going to buy some like an uh, actual headband for my chin nipple and, and um, some compressions for my arms. So... It's also, you know, the aftercare supplies that you need, your pills. We brought a, f a few medication because they don't, at my office, they don't prescribe you a lot of medication. They only give you your antibiotics and your nausea. But for pain, you have to buy it yourself. So, so right now, I'm just going to be walking these next few days, just walking and not just being laying down. When I lay down, I actually nap every time I lay down. I just feel like an hour or two right now. I have to drink two of these and I'm halfway, so I need to get it together. Let's wake up the rest of the night. Yeah. This is a really cute water bottle. It's my mom's water bottle. It's so cute. <laughs>
Oh, baby, hear that she lost. You guys want to see how bruised they yeah. are my arms? No. Until I feel bad looking at you. Got it? I didn't want to look at you. Go ahead. Because that's where they they took the fat out in my armpit. It's like really? black. <laughs> Look at the baby with the baby. He's like, that's not my sister. Look at her. What are you talking about, Willis? Oh, wow. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, my God. Man. If I didn't do it all together, I would have to wait three months to get um, arm lipo. So I don't regret doing it, doing it all at once. And again, I'm going through a lot of pain right now. So when I do decide if I want more arm lipo or more chin lipo or if I want to do something else, it's not going to be as bad as what I'm going through right now. So it just depends on you personally, how snatched you want to be. The pain wise, if you want less pain, then just give the BBL by itself. Don't add the other areas of lipo. The only thing is that they should have told me in the beginning, like, even though I was still going to do it, they should have told me that like, okay, because you're adding more areas, we're not going to take as much fat from the stomach because we still got to take fat from your arms and your chin. So that's something that they should have done. But I mean, as far as everything else, they're really nice. I've thought about it again. I'm like, you know what? I just want to be here. I want to be with my family. Um, honestly, being with my family and being close to home really does help. So it's currently 8.40 right now. I use the bathroom again. Every time I want to take a nap lately, I have to use the bathroom and it's annoying. So I haven't taken a nap since the last time I said I took a nap. Which is like at what, 2 o'clock or, or 5? No, like 4. Like 4. It was after I took... No, it was like 4. 4.30. Something like that. But I haven't taken a nap. And I'm a little tired, but not that much. My mom just served me some soup. I'm not eating the chicken still. I'm only eating the vegetables. Um, my urine keeps getting clearer and clearer. Like right now it's basically almost clear. So that's really, really good. I've been walking around for 20 minutes. So I'm a little shaky. I think I'm going to go down again. I pretty, I did pretty good. I already, I already did my 30 minutes. So I don't have to walk anymore if I don't want to. But sometimes the pressure on my stomach when I lay down is discomforting so that's why I like to get up but I have to take it more slow I have to tell myself in my head like girl get surgery today take it more slow because I'm very fast paced so I love that I was able to have kids in my body you know I love my body but I didn't feel good in it anymore but it's, I even stopped posting my body as much as I used to before because I just wasn't feeling confident anymore so so yeah, I don't regret it and I don't encourage it, but if if you think it's going to make you happy and if you feel like you can go through it, then do whatever makes you happy. Don't care about what anybody else thinks. Don't care about nothing. Just your kids and yourself. Like I said, my kids are in great hands right now. They're with their dad. I'm really blessed for that. But um, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna finish my soup and I'm probably gonna try to lay down. I'm probably gonna have to use the bathroom soon because I'm gonna drink some more water and finish my soup. So I will check back with you guys later on.